OpenAI just dropped a big one. It is image generation baked right into ChatGPT if you use 4.0. And I'm going to show you what it actually can do. Now, with AI images in general, normally with the image generation models, we get like multiple images. But with ChatGPT image generation, you only get one image. Is it a Photoshop killer? Not yet. But definitely reducing workflows, complexities for like ControlNet or Comfy UI, I could definitely see that being reduced to just one single line. Now, if you see here, the prompt said, a smart ring called Aquapulse tracks hydration, sleek metallic design, futuristic UI glowing on a black background. Everything is in top shape. This would have taken somebody at least an hour, but here it took us just 30 seconds. We do not want to use one shot prompts to just get images. We want to also see how you would be able to creatively use these. So for example, now on top of this, if you want to add, let's say this ring onto somebody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add an image of myself. I'm going to say, make him wear the ring and have it in a studio with high key fashion lighting. Now, what should happen is, as you must have seen, my image over here, and this is an image for quite some time ago because the hair is different, but you can see that this should hold on to a couple of things from my image whilst also merging what I have said from the previous. So this is something that image generation has always struggled with. And Google AI Studio's image generation, which I will have a link for, you can check it over here. I think that's what... Chat GPT's image generation is also trying to do, which is conversational image generation. Another thing I've also noticed is even if sometimes it does hold on to the face, it does not hold the consistency 100%. It has kept the hair details. My facial structure is quite the same, but it is a different person. If you see right over here, the ring that we just generated is there. I didn't just type whatever. But I give, give it a little more detail. Another thing which I wanted to tell you is that the more details you give, the better it's going to be. It's quite mind-blowing. I mean, from something that would have taken you a long time to something that is literally taking us just a few seconds, we have come a long way. I don't think that could be the way for us to go when we are talking about creating. I like the way that the typography is very, very consistent. From a graphic design point of view, the kerning and the tracking seems very clean. It's made it more like an advertisement. It does look like I'm selling the ring, which has changed a little bit from the original because now we have glowing ring. But a thing that has maintained in this example is the clothing. You can see that the clothing that I had is the similar. This part is a little bit different. And here it's completely changed up. You could actually make this into a full-fledged campaign. So that is an idea. We started with a simple concept and then you just work around with, with the full-fledged thing here. So it's hydration, smart ring, shop now. There is a call to action. Very simple. This is one use case scenario. You can reduce your workload a lot and neither do we have the branching like how we had in the Google AI studio where you can actually branch and keep using the same image. But what you can do is you can actually just use the image and just like upload it here. And then you can just, again, keep continuing with that. You can see it has followed some design principles. Like it has these arcs and it has created these like little lines. It follows a beautiful way of like flowing. You can see the visual hierarchy is there. It's like giving the arrow to this. All of those sensibilities are there. Further work needs to be done. Obviously, you can use it in another software. But the first iteration, bang on. Next example, where you can see a surreal metaphor of a burnout of a human made of melting candles sitting at a desk. So I'm, in the beginning, what I'm going to say is generate an image just to see the versatility and how much we can actually edit if we wanted to. Because many people are also talking about different things. If we go on X over here, it actually adds grids. So you can see that if you wanted to make anything into a grid, it could actually do that. Then in another instance, they have actually given an input of what looks like the calm health page. And then the AI gave an output of a headspace page. Then here, this is more of a meme kind of a thing, but can you turn it into a Ghibli anime style without changing the facial structures? It's giving us these kind of results over here. And then this is another thing that we just now saw with the product. 
that if you take a product and put it with another image, it basically gives you an image that would work. Point in case with this example right hey, over here. Another cool this is exactly the situation that is over here with this example. <clears throat> they took two separate images and within a matter of 30 seconds, you basically get one product image with a call to action all baked in. Now here you can see this is more conceptual. What if I wanted to just change a small detail here? This is where I feel like the real magic is. Because you could already generate images, but something that is really standing out in this one is, what if I wanted to say, make him look towards us? Now, do you see what I'm doing there? I'm not putting a prompt anymore. The prompt I did in the beginning, I'm just like saying this and I just put that. It's conversational. It's contextual. Mind blown. It's basically using ChatGPT's already existing prowess of contextual and conversational, but for chat. It is a multimodal now and the image makes sense. So even if I just said make him look towards us, it should be able to understand that it's I'm talking about this specific figure looking towards the camera. Another use case scenario by Matt Wolf, you can see right over here, is using thumbnail designs. This specific use case, because clearly in this use case scenario, there is a lot that is available here, but obviously... In the past, we would either be using Photoshop or Canva or whatever else. But now I feel like the workflow, as also Matt Wolf has said, that the workflow is rapidly changing. Even for myself, I'm just using this definitely to ideate. Like I was using the Google AI Studio before this came out. And now I'm going to be using this to ideate for my other projects that I have beyond just YouTube. Another use case scenario we can see here is a prompt that has been shared. And it's a more technical prompt. If you can see here, they have actually created from this image to this using ChatGPT's image generation. And these are just growing. If we go over here, you see, this is what I'm talking about. This kind of consistency holding on to everything else and making the face look towards us. That was a work of control net. You would have needed a lot of workflow. Even this, like, the hands and everything else is fine. Just the face. Even in Photoshop, that would have taken some time. That would have taken you a lot of time to do that. Like, can we imagine the amount of work that is being reduced over here? So that is another use case scenario. A clean infographic explaining the water cycle for kids in a cartoon style with smiling clouds, raindrops and arrows. And as we do this, I'm again going to jump back into X. So I'm going to show you a couple more details that people have done. This person right over here. They have gone out and made full-on ad campaigns. Many people in the X space are calling this Vibe marketing. Probably that is what it is. You do have to use this not as a one-shot. That's for sure. But iterative. And for sure, you need to edit for in, in other softwares if you need to get the final product. The goal definitely is to get a one-shot. The only thing I would definitely admire here is the level of accuracy we are able to get to a near completion of a final product. That's just mind-blowing. This use case by Alex, and I'm going to have a link to all of these X profiles and the profiles that I'm mentioning down in the description, so you can also check out all of their work and their use case scenarios. But this right here, again, every detail is clean. None of the text here is worked. If I had shown it to anybody out in the real world, they would have said this is created by a human being. I mean, again, this is created by a human being with an assistance from AI. But do you see the adherence to every single thing? There is also design aesthetic here. There is also some design sensibilities. This is huge. I mean, we know Ideogram has that kind of thing. And again, another example over here. You take a simple product, even a PNG transparent product, create a luxury photo shoot and boom. You have something that looks like a photo shoot with a warm light. We don't want to replace creativity. We want to enhance creativity. Coming back to the example that we were doing over here. So a clean infographic explaining the water cycle. I want to change the style of this. And I'm actually going to say, make this infographic in the style of Bathic cyberpunk poster design. But with very strict typography and have strong design language. I also feel like if you mention these kind of things, you're going to be 
invoking your mindset into the design and it's not just another cookie cutter clearly like an example as we saw up over here but whatever they had used here they also had sensibility that's what i'm talking about another example you can see over here this is obviously a classic use case scenario of a model having a clean logo of open ai having it like a selfie but also some use case scenarios by this panel over here you can see some of the use case scenarios the level of detail it has in the character references we know exactly who we are talking about lord musk and sam ortman the style of cartoon is beautiful you can see the text is there the details are there and then obviously if you've been in this space for a little bit you have seen this expulsion of the ghibli that has been taking space all over the internet ever since the open ai guys had dropped the field the agi so you can see that also happening but here also they have mentioned the consistency with the character which is another thing which we have just now explored so if i directly wanted to post this for a high school the logic here is exact it goes collects the water evaporation and precipitation but if you create intentionally you are not creating slop anymore but if you want to create unintentionally or if you're just creating for the sake of creating maybe then you could come up with situations of hallucination because here clearly we are seeing an inflection point where things are getting into far more uncanny territory in the way that how it understands what a water cycle means how it works and how it should be the gothic style and the character design is so strong on point that is another example of good designing with image generation and another example i want generate an image of a modern office and then if we look at some of these cases over here complex creations from a prompt with image letters this is also something that is really impressive because you have the face of einstein you have the shirt which is perfect you have the logo you have all of these texts the legibility of the language is right and you are also seeing where people are able to like use a use case scenario of their face in oster design i have also done one use case scenario where i actually made a cat from a real image you can see this is a pixar style cat you can easily create advertising details so they have call to action this is for coca cola this is for a beer each of them is very clean very effective design if you see generate a modern office workspace with a coffee mug on a table clean now if i wanted to change something here all i have to say is replace the coffee mug with a glowing crystal ball even if you're using a smart select and you're doing a generative fill that will also take you some time you see you only need one text and you personally are done from your side as the human being you can see some of these stellar examples of drinks have been advertised in such beautiful and marvelous ways also poster design and then some people have also done different characters of themselves in different iconic looks whether it is a lego design whether it is in different kinds of styles in a simpson design and then you can also see this is another example which i was just now referring to you earlier on about a thumbnail design now this person right over here did a very in ingenious thing of actually having a sketch putting it into gpt4 image generation and then getting an image out of it splendid ideas another thing is if you're taking again a product placement and you put it on the model mocking up on models or having mock ups just done in one prompt we can also see an example over here people are saying we are cooked i think we are on the verge of that do you think you can actually use this in some case it is definitely not as photoshop where you have layers but it is conversational and contextual which photoshop is not if you notice something here i did not tell about the light i only said to change the coffee mug into a glowing crystal ball it understood the logic of the glowing crystal ball it immediately made the surrounding give the ember of the orange i am really blown away by that level of detail that now ai is able to get and mind you this is the worst that ai is going to be because from here we're only going to get better i'm going to say generate an image generate an image of you can see some examples again you can see another example from here where you can see the consistency of the character they had a blue shirt they had the glasses they had the hair that is the same 
That is exactly the same. None of that changes. And then creating memes of existing memes. I mean, even the level of intricate details in the text, all the kind of typography, was the design details, it's truly mind-blowing. Success takes time, Ted. This it is not an AI slop. That's what you would call an AI slop. Quite literally. Going to be, take my image right over here. This is again going to generate me in these kind of contexts. And see also in other examples, style transfer is another big thing that is happening. You put the sketch and then it can create some kind of renditions. In this case right over here, this person used this image over here and gave a sampler of what it wants. And then the next thing, it basically created a, a marble statue. This is what you would call a style transfer. You do this or you could do this. These are basically style transferring. And you can also make yourself get good studio quality photos without even having to worry about it. And then obviously the Ghibli has been taken over. You can already see something happening is that the Vogue logo is exact. If we go over to the Vogue, magazine and if you see something it is exact to the T. When it comes to the face I have noticed that it differs as I've also mentioned these are not some things that you need to do as a one shot you do need to do iterative processes like anything in AI the image restriction part of it is very strict so sometimes even if the image is halfway down they do stop you this has tremendous potential if you think about one-shot prompts making the magic, then you don't have to worry about it. For instance, if I wanted to add myself with an Apple Vision Pro, you want to make sure when you're also prompting that sometimes it may not actually come out. I'm going to again take a different image. of that. I'm going to have this image along with the image of the Vision Pro. We've also seen some use case scenarios over here where people are also doing more advertising like if you take a real image, you know, this is where creativity can really strike. The community is doing a fantastic job here. They took an image and did that in 3D. And then they also added these texts in the background. It's like, it's so fine and so granular details. I'm just blown away. And then existing memes, obviously these were all done in the Ghibli style. If you see, they have also done in this graphic design style of John Wick. Everybody's just pointing the camera. The composition is there. This thing is just like top-notch work done. Then you can also see an image swap with Elon on a Mr. Beast thumbnail. Here is another thing about having a dynamic car, but in different weather situations. You can see this specific product being in different kind of positions, whether you have it in a hand, in an advertorial, in a comic style. The product holds itself. That's amazing. And then again, you have real image, made it into like a cute sticker. It's what's just like blowing my mind. These kind of things, it's like, you would get this from the describe feature in mid-journey. It's able to get the context, the shape of the dog. It's able to get all of these things. Even able to get like this image to be put into a Mona Lisa and then get like a Mona Lisa-esque image. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Finally, you can see an editorial of something that it thought could have been me. It has done a fantastic job with this. The part that I'm most happiest about is the text. This is very Vogue-esque. The image, again, you need to iterate on that for sure. This is me with my dress wearing the Apple Vision Pro with my beanie on. You can see if I were wearing an Apple Vision Pro, this is what it would be looking like. With that being said, creativity is not going anywhere. We should be diving into these like a tool. This is a great time to be alive because just imagine you are now getting workflows reduced from complex workflows like comfy UI and using complex things like control net and even in Photoshop doing multiple layers to just one single prompt or just a few single prompts. The world is moving at a rapid breakneck speed. This is a fantastic thing to give a double and try it out. With that said, if you like this video, you might like this video because YouTube thinks this video is preferable for you. You could also watch this video because this is my last video that I uploaded. You can also check out this playlist down over there. Till the next time, catch you later.